first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that, yes, you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today, I'm bringing to you my outdoor Christmas window paintings for 2021. This is a tradition that Kayla and I started about four years ago, and it's something that I'm not going to lie to you is pretty intimidating to me. Freehand painting is not my strong suit. It is something that I definitely have to challenge myself on, step out of my comfort zone when doing, but I'm all about doing that. And so as the years go by, I'm noticing I'm getting a bit more comfortable in doing it and my paintings are getting a bit better. I can't wait to show you what I do with my windows this year. Today's video is gonna be a bit different. It's more on the time-lapse part. I chat with you a bit and just kind of talk with you. I don't really do it in tutorial form. And so I thought it'd be fun just to kind of take some time and chat with you. So if you're not one who likes the chattiness, you might wanna mute it, fast forward, speed it up, do whatever you gotta do to get through the video. Doesn't offend me at all. So I'm gonna quit my gabbin. Let's jump into it and watch me in my creative process. Let's get to it. Let's dive on into this. What am I using here? I am using a chalk crayon, and this is one that you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna say chalk marker because it was actually a very soft type crayon, I wanna say, and it says chalk on it. And so I found that this worked the best versus using a chalk marker because the chalk marker, you kinda have to push the tip in in order to get the chalk to dispense in liquid form and it was kind of a pain and so this was actually the easier way to go last year i did try to use a dry erase marker thinking okay this is the way to go because i can erase it and wipe it off the window easily if i mess up but i found that it was really hard to cover with the paint it kept seeping through my lighter color paint and so this year i knew i had to do something a bit different and this chalk crayon type things seem to work the best. Now to apply my paint, I am just using a sponge dapper. And the paint that I'm using is just a regular Apple Barrel acrylic paint or the Waverly chalk paint. Some of you are gonna ask, how does this hold up in the weather? The window that I'm doing this painting on is a covered window, but Kayla is doing one that is just simply covered by the eave of the house. And over the last three years, we have had no problem with our window art, I guess, peeling up or bubbling through the rain and the snow. And we have had that. Once it's on there, it's pretty well on there and it doesn't come off super easily unless you are adding a cleaner of some sort. And we'll get into that a bit later. And so here you can see that I'm just using a round sponge dabber that you can get from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and that's how I'm applying the paint because I found that when you apply it using a sponge dabber, you only need one coat versus um, using a paintbrush. It doesn't come out even, you kind of get those streaks and so more, I guess, coats are needed. Kayla goes the route of using the paintbrush and her art comes out perfectly, but I just prefer this method and this is the method that my mom used when she used to come and do our windows. And for those of you who don't know, I started this tradition again about four years ago because this was a tradition that my mom actually uh, started. She loved doing window art. It was something that she would go around and do to different businesses. And one year she just thought, heck, why don't I do your windows? And once she started them every year, it kind of became a tradition and we never really knew what she was gonna put up on our window from year to year. It was always one of those fun surprises but it was one of those surprises that we always really looked forward to. And after her passing that first year, I found that it was something that I really missed. And so Kayla and I decided that this was a tradition that we were gonna carry on. And so this is our fourth year doing it now. And I've noticed that each year I get a little bit better. I've told you all in the past that I'm not somebody who feels like they are artistically inclined. Um, or talented when it comes to painting art like this, freehand painting. 
This is something that Kayla has an extraordinary talent with, and it's something that I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone when doing, but I am all about challenging myself because at the end of the day, once you challenge yourself and you've pushed through that challenge, you've gained some self-confidence. And I'm seeing that each year I'm getting a little bit better with these windows and I'm getting a little bit more detailed. And so I like that. And I like to see the progression, how I evolve in these paintings. And so I'm one who really loves snowmen. So I stick with the snowman theme. Kayla really gets out there and she does some amazing Christmas pieces. So you'll want to head on over to her channel after this and see what she's doing on her window. And so as I do this, I'm not really going to talk to you about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I might here and there, but I just thought I'd kind of chat with you during this and then you're going to have some quiet time of just hearing the music. And so you can see here that I've got my snowman basically pretty much done. And again, looking at the white part of this snowman, that really is just one coat. If you're seeing some parts that are a bit lighter than others, you can go ahead and add more, but I feel like it just kind of adds to the character of it. I know that this video is a bit different than my typical videos because they're usually in tutorial form, but I really just thought this year I'd bring you along with me while I'm, I guess, in the creative process of this. And yes, this window is no different. You can see here that I am adding stitching onto this. I know I can't get away from it, but I just thought I'd be so stinking cute to add it to this and kind of add a bit of what I have going on on the inside of my house as far as the Christmas theme, bringing it on out to the outside onto these windows. Now I know so many of you are asking, how easy is it to remove this from your windows? Does it ruin your windows? Absolutely not. If it ruined my windows, I would not do it. This is the fourth year that I've done it and it really is super easy to remove. If you just take some spray cleaner of some sorts, I found that a 409 degreaser work the best and you just spray it over your painting and you want to be kind of generous with your cleaner and just let it set for about 10 minutes if you then go in with a paint scraper one of those metal ones that you can get from dollar tree your acrylic paint will just kind of scrape right off it actually just peels right off and i have found that if you just kind of put a trash bag underneath as you're scraping it it kind of falls down onto the trash bag and it's easy cleanup once I've got it pretty well scraped off, I do go in with a kind of the rough side of a sponge and just kind of clean off my window again and my window seals and nobody is none the wiser that I once had a really cool Christmas painting up. This is something that I think Kayla and I were thinking about doing throughout the year for different holidays, kind of branching out and just getting creative that way. Just another way of kind of incorporating the holidays or the seasons into the outside decor. And so that's something you're definitely gonna wanna look forward to when it comes to maybe 
Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, even Easter. I think I'm more excited about Easter and maybe branching out and trying to put a bunny out here and some eggs. I think that that would be really fun. And so I think you all should get kind of creative and do it with me and really step out of your comfort zone and try to do this. You know, they do have stencils out there or projectors that you can actually project onto your window and trace it. And so there are definitely alternative ways of doing this if you don't feel that you can do it free-handed like we are. But when you use a sponge dapper, it really is the easiest way to go because you can actually form it as you're fixing, you know, your, I guess, your pieces or your shapes. And so with the frosty head, it started out smaller than it was because I knew that I was going to want to fix the shape of the head a bit more. And really it is just to kind of give you an idea and a start. Now when doing this, I wasn't feeling super confident about Frosty's eyes as you can see here and so I definitely went in with a pencil because you can erase pencil even on the acrylic paint and you'll see me do that here in a second and I just thought oh my these eyes are not even so I was able to go back in erase it look there I go erase it and get it the way I wanted it to be before I go in with the paint and so that is the luxury of this it really is kind of making it work for you doing what's easiest for you so you can get the best outcome. I know, I know, I may have a minor obsession with stitching, but just look at how much it adds to the nose. It takes it from being just this orange triangle nose to something quilted and cute, and it adds personality to it. I love this. I wanna say it's coming up on about nine o'clock at night, and I am still not done with this, and so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the arms tonight and I am going to pick this up again in the morning. My ring light just doesn't feel like it's bright enough. I'm getting a lot of shadows from it. It's getting windy as you can see. And so yeah, this part is going to be to be continued. yes it is the next day and there is nothing like the new light of the morning can i just tell you i woke up at five and was waiting for it to get bright enough so i could come out and finish this piece up because i wanted it done so badly i couldn't wait to see the end result that is always the best part is seeing the fruits of your labor come together you can see that i've got the reference piece taped up here on the window this was honestly not my idea this is a piece that i got off of pinterest Loved the snowman so much that I just went ahead and printed it out and decided to use it as a reference and put my own spin and twist on it to make it work for me. And so that is something that I suggest you do. If there's a piece that you want to do on your window, go scour on Pinterest and look for pictures of snowmen. And that's what I did and make it work for you. Get a piece that you feel confident you can replicate or duplicate. And, and try it using some of your acrylic paints. Apple Barrel works great. You don't have to get fancy. It doesn't need to be expensive. You're just gonna need a couple more coats. I will tell you that for the bird, I was using the Hello Hobby red paint. That paint is horrendous when it comes to the window. I wish I wouldn't have used it. I should have just gone with an Apple Barrel, but I was too lazy to go into the house. It was a paint that I already had outside. And so, yeah, it is not a good paint to use. And that Hello Hobby is the paint that Walmart replaced Waverly with. And so it is not a good acrylic paint for the windows, not at all.
How long did this window take me this year? It took me about six hours, not gonna lie, but I'm a DIYer. I like to DIY, so I'm not in a hurry. I don't always like quick and easy. I like to challenge myself and I did just that this year. I couldn't be happier with the outcome of this window. I think it's fun. I think it's cute. It definitely is deserving of a spotlight that I am going to Home Depot to get today so I can put it up on the window so everyone can enjoy it as much as we do. Here are my previous windows and I can definitely see how I got a bit better. I got a bit more confident. This was two years ago, I wanna say 2019's window. And here we have 2020's window. I love these snowmen. They were so easy to do and so fun. These didn't take me long because they were such simple pieces. And that's the idea, start off simple. Build your confidence. Don't forget to head on over to Kayla's channel. You can find the link to her window video, guess where? Yes, in the description box below. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? It's going out to Karen Clark, who's bringing to us her window art. Karen, you are an amazing talent. I am loving your window art. Amazing job. Thank you so much for sharing your creation with us today. I hope you all enjoyed watching me and my creative process of painting these outdoor windows. It was fun. It's something that I always look forward to doing. And like I said, I feel like it's something that I'm gonna look forward to doing throughout the year for the different seasons and holidays. And so I just need to enlist Kayla in doing it. So when you head on over to her channel and you watch her video on what she did on her windows, make sure to leave in her comment section that you wanna see more of these window paintings throughout the year. So that way she'll do it with me. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Cause like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, you know what I'm gonna say. Stay positive, please, because I am.